everyone, welcome back to Kathy's Vegan Kitchen. I'm Kathy. If you like the recipes, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to comment. Today we're making a quinoa tabbouleh. Tabbouleh is typically a Middle Eastern salad. Um, the base is parsley, but it usually includes bulgur. We're making it with quinoa, oil-free obviously, and this is a gluten-free version because bulgur, as you know, is not has gluten in it. So we're gonna make one without any gluten and it tastes divine. Okay, first I cooked a cup and a half of tri-colored quinoa with two cups of water and two teaspoons of salt. You can use any color quinoa you like. I just happen to have the tri-color. I usually make it with all red quinoa. It tastes the same. The trick though, you have to make sure that not only is it cooked, but it needs to be cold. If you put hot quinoa in with the parsley, it's going to make it all soggy and it, it won't keep its form. So you wanna make sure that it's cold. So I cooked this before we started today. I popped it in the refrigerator for a little bit and now here it is. So we're going to add the cooked quinoa, one half cups of dried quinoa, yields three cups of cooked quinoa, just for reference. Okay, we're gonna stick that in the bowl. I also have three quarters cup of parsley that I chopped, three quarter cup of mint, fresh mint. I have a cup and a half of diced English cucumber, and I took the seeds out to make it less watery. Chopped it with my little veggie chopper. A cup and a half of tomatoes quartered, and these are grape tomatoes. One bunch of green onions sliced. A quarter cup of Kalamata olives. Those are my favorite, by the way. And I have a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And this is an optional ingredient. I have half a cup of tofu feta cheese that I made myself, and that link is underneath the recipe link as well for the salad. Now the dressing is very simple. I have one whole lemon, and what you wanna do is you wanna juice it. And again, this dressing does not have any oil, nor does it need it. Um, it just has nice whole foods, fresh ingredients. And we're going to squeeze this lemon. And we also zested a whole lemon as well to get a real profound lemon flavor. And we're gonna pour that into our little measuring cup. And I have a quarter cup of red wine vinegar, that zest I mentioned of one whole lemon. And I have two tablespoons of maple syrup. You can also use agave, or you could use date syrup if you like, doesn't really matter. We're gonna just whisk that together, and we're gonna pour it over the salad ingredients. Now, I like the salad to sit for a little bit in the fridge before you serve it, because all the flavors come together when it sits for a little bit and all, you know, the, the flavors go into the quinoa. Now, you can put this, eat it as a salad. You can eat it inside a wrap with um, some hummus. You could eat it as a side dish. We eat it all week long for lunches and it's fabulous. Um, and it, again, it is gluten-free. So to serve it to your lovely guests or your family. I'm gonna put it on this platter. Okay. 
You can also add tofu, tempeh to the top for added protein if you wish. You can also serve it as a salad and then serve with hummus on the side with pita bread. It's delicious any way you do it. And here it is. Quinoa tabbouleh. Quick and easy. Lunchtime, dinner time, all week long. All right, we will see you next time. Thanks.